hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding the unlink method in odo so currently in the screen you are seeing odo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our odo 15 development tutorials so here in the screen you can see we have got appointments we have got around 15 appointments in which some of them are in done state some of them are in in consultation and some of them are in draft state so if i select any of the record from this list view here you can see the action button will get enabled and if you click on that you will have the delete button over here so if you click on delete button the record will get deleted from the database so this is done by the unlink method so on clicking delete the unlink method of that model will get triggered so let's see what we will be in this what we will be doing in this video is that we will be inheriting the unlink method of this model so what why we are inheriting in order to prevent the deleting of done appointments so here you can see we have got a couple of done appointments in the system and still even though it is in done state we can delete those appointments so if i take op0010 so i'll open this record which is in done state if i click on delete this will get deleted without any restriction so in system normally we will not allow the users to delete the done records because it is interlinked with some other modules right now the appointment is not linked with any other modules but in real case it may be depend with invoice maybe with a delivery of what i can say delivery of medicines so we need to prevent the deletion of done appointments so let's see how we can achieve that by overriding or by inheriting the unlink method of odoo so what i'll do is that i'll go to the pycharm and here we have the custom add-ons where om module is existing so i'll navigate to the appointment.py where we have the hospital dot appointment model so what we have to do is that we have to override the unlink method of this model and we have to raise validation error if the user is trying to delete a done appointment so what i'll do is that i'll navigate to the odoo source code and i'll search diff unlink so here find in path and i'll search diff unlink off then you can see a lot of samples in different modules so i'll just copy one among them or i'll write it like here instead of taking a sample i can write it here so after create i'll write here diff unlink so the function name is unlink of self there is no Vals or something it's like just diff unlink then you have to super so return super you have to do super so simply in order to inherit or override the unlink method you have to do this only so if you add a print statement here first i'll just add a print statement over here and what i'll do i'll just restart the service so you can see the service has been restarted and if i try to delete a record so i'll try to delete op009 i'll click on delete okay then if you check the log you can see the function has been got executed here you can see in the log the test has been printed now what i'll do i'll add a couple of conditions over here if rec dot state or self dot state so i'll check self is a record set of current object so i'll check here we have the state so i'll check self dot state equal to equal to so i'm just checking if self dot state equal to done what i have to do i have to show a validation error like you cannot delete a done appointment so i'll erase validation error so i have to import from odoo.exception from odoo.exceptions import validation error let's import this validation error and make sure that you put two blank spaces after before the class variable two blank spaces is necessary now i'll copy this and i'll add it here raise validation error 
then also I'll import this underscore from odoo.api fields model comma underscore we have to import this also for the translation purpose so i'll come to the translation purpose later part of this series so inside this validation error we have to add the message you cannot delete you cannot delete it a appointment we cannot delete appointment with done status I'll give the message like this you cannot delete appointment with done status so we have added the validation error now we will already start and i'll go to the ui and what i'll do i'll try to delete a record you can see op008 is in dumb state and i'll open that and i'll try to delete so i'll click on delete click on ok you can see the validation error has been thrown you, you cannot delete appointment with done status so if i try to delete op001 delete you can see the deletion has been blocked whereas if i try to delete in consultation this is in in consultation state op0011 now if i try to delete that you can see it's getting deleted actually that also does not delete only records in draft state we have to delete so i'll just change my condition similar uh, a bit instead of checking done if self dot state not in draft that is i need to delete only draft state record rest of the records has to be prevented so if self not equal to here i have added instead of equal to equal to i have added not equal to if a record is not in draft state we will show the validation you cannot delete you cannot delete i'll just alter the message only in draft state i'll just change my message you can delete appointment only in draft status that is if the record state is not draft the system will prevent that so i have just changed my condition and i'll restart and if i try to delete in consultation right now here you can see op0012 is in consultation and if i try to delete that you can see the validation error has been thrown you can try the same from the tree view also so if i try to delete from here also you will be getting that error message you cannot you can delete only in draft state so this is how we can override the unlink method in odoo diff unlink then super off then you can perform your operation over here so i hope you understood this video if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to contact us over the email that is odoomates at gmail.com and feel free to connect us in the social medias like linkedin facebook twitter and instagram and also follow us in github just search for roommates and follow us in github also so that's it have a nice day thank you